Yes, my peoples, it's T, and today we are looking at the Nike Air Jordan 4 G's. A little quick unboxing here. Ta-da! So, Nike Golf logo. 23. Let's go. Oof, 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 oof. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Lovely. So, these are the Nike 4Gs. Um, the G stands for Golf. Um, and as you can see at the bottom here, they come with these extra spikes at the bottom in order to have extra grip whilst you're playing golf. But of course, most people that buy these trainers will not be using them on the golf course, for sure. Um, thankfully, the spikes are easily removable. Um, and there is a tool that you can buy separately from Amazon, for example, for two pound, three pound, um, and it allows you to just twist and turn and the spikes do come off, leaving a flat surface for you to wear as a normal trainer. Um, as you can see, these, um, have a bit of a suede type feeling to them as opposed to the normal leather material that you get with some Jordans. Um, and I think the style is, is, is very nice, very nice. So these are the black cement, grey, white and fire red colorway of the Jordan 4s. Um, and it's a style that um, I went for because I, I feel like this colorway will be able to actually go with many different outfits um, that you have because of the neutral tones that we have here. Um, so I feel like this will go well with a lot of outfits that I have in my wardrobe. Um, so yeah, I love the style. Um, I have had a chance to test drive these a little bit and they are very comfortable. Of course, we have the famous Nike Air Soul um, here. So, um, and it makes you feel like you're walking on clouds. Um, the only issue um, that I do have is when you do remove, remove the spikes, the sole is, is, is very flat um, and on certain surfaces, it does feel a little bit unstable um, depending on the type of surface you are walking on. But overall, I'm loving these trainers. As I'm sure you're all aware, the Jordans are very, very popular um, and the Jordan 4s are no different. Um, typically, when Nike actually release these Jordans onto the website, um, they get snapped up within literally minutes. Um, and in order to get certain colors or even the Jordans overall, you usually have to go into the resale market, which is normally at least twice the price um, of, of what you would buy directly from Nike. Um, Nike.com also has um, sneakers, spelled um, S-N-K-R-S. Um, it's also a website owned by Nike, but this is specifically for just their trainers. Um, which come out exclusively via that application. Um, so, thankfully, I was able to get these directly from Nike.com. I had to wake up, I had to um, set my alarm very early, wake up early, and thankfully, I was able to get into the queue um, online and purchase these within maybe about 30 seconds of getting onto the website um, in order to secure these. And they cost around, in the UK, around £170 to buy directly from Nike. And I've already seen, looking on eBay um, and other resale websites, the resale price of these are already at an average on £280. So nearly twice the price um, of what you get from Nike. Um, but I will not be selling these. I like these a lot, so I'll be keeping these for myself and using it for my own personal use. So all in all, I'm glad I've added these Jordan 4s in this particular colorway to my collection. Um, and I will give them a jam pack rating of 4.5 out of 5. Um, the only losing half a star because of the unstable feeling that I get sometimes when walking on certain surfaces. But other than that, very comfortable, very stylish. I, I, actually, I actually sometimes see people on the street just looking down at my feet at these trainers. Um, and I can tell what they're thinking. They're thinking, yeah, they're nice. How, how do you get those? Um, so, yes. Jordan 4Gs, we out.